a look back and a look forward for studying the biblical languages. Hi, I'm Doug, and I want to encourage you in studying the biblical languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. This episode is just a little wrap up of season one and a teaser for season two. First, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching these videos or listening to the podcast. Thank you for referring others to them. Thank you for making suggestions. It's been really neat since I started this in January of 2024 with an intention at that time of posting monthly and then experimenting with, with weekly and to be able to carry that forward, to be able to interview people like Sawyer Moranville and Scott Callahan and Charles Loder to be able to cover various topics on each of the biblical languages, sometimes in episodes that relate to all three and sometimes in episodes that are uh, primarily devoted to one. It has been a very enjoyable and rewarding journey. And as I've said here and elsewhere, the idea of this channel is that this is a free resource because I'm the beneficiary of the extreme generosity of others. That's why I was able to get on, stay on, continue, and, and complete formal training in the biblical languages. And I want to be able to encourage others on that journey and point you to helpful resources and uh, connect you with, with people and, and introduce you to um, scholars and others who are going to be helpful guides in your journey of the biblical languages. And certainly, if you've paid attention to this channel very much and to uh, the things I like to talk about, you know I have a favorite. I nearly walked away from Hebrew. I thought I could not possibly learn it, and I fell in love with it. And it's certainly my favorite thing to study in terms of the biblical languages. But I also love biblical Aramaic, and I love biblical Greek. I was um, just looking recently in Timothy Lee's Greek reader for John, and I was preaching this weekend in Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 8, Easter weekend, and I was was looking at the uh, word martus, uh, the noun uh, that sometimes we might say, oh yeah, that's where martyr comes from, or means a, a witness and has to do, uh, the verb has to do with giving a testimony and uh, how the apostles, uh, as Luke records in, in Acts chapter 1, how they uh, saw the Lord Jesus, how he appeared to them and showed himself alive by uh, some very uh, hard proof and then sent the Spirit to empower them to be his witnesses and they went and told of his resurrection. And I believe Greek is you know, vitally important, but um, I need to get some more of that in the program, I know. I need to get some more guests uh, who would uh, like to talk about that some more, do some, some deep dives with that. So we're going to try to get that going. But as we move into April, we're going to focus on Hebrew with Dr. Benjamin Noonan and his wife, Dr. Jennifer Noonan. We're going to have interviews with them that will cover the rest of this month. And I spoke with Dr. Scott Callahan recently. We recorded on the Biblical Hebrew Infinitive Absolute. So look for that to be coming in May. But I promise I'm going to work on getting some more Greek in here as well. So you guys that are, are New Testament folks, Septuagint folks, uh, folks that are, are, you know, really die hard about Greek, don't, don't go away. We're going to try to get some of that in here soon. But you guys that are Hebrew nerds like me, uh, you're going to enjoy the next few weeks if you can check that out. And so um, just keep your eye out. I want to keep pointing you to, to good things. Uh, Timothy Lee's got a whole series of these readers. We want to talk more about that soon. Uh, the Psalms reader I use, uh, I'm reading it at night and marking that up and the, the way it's formatted. And uh, you can follow the, the verses, uh, the versification, the cola of the poetry and so forth. And the glosses at the bottom for the less familiar words. It's just an amazing resource. Sawyer Moranville, who was on here recently, talked about his biblical Hebrew book of uh, words, a child's beginner book that kids uh, can enjoy reading along with mom or dad as they're studying the original languages. He's also got a Greek one. So here's some Greek. Uh, in our key, in the beginning, we've got a child's beginner book of biblical Greek. These are available, by the way, at linguadeogloria.com. You can get free PDFs or you can order the hardcover from Amazon, as I did. Just uh, This one's just hot off the presses. So anyway, a lot of neat stuff out there, and I just hope you're going to continue on with your study of the biblical languages. Get started if you're not on the journey yet. If you are, just stay at it. And if you are advanced on it, you're making good strides in it, look for people you can encourage and, and that you can help. I know for some of you, we're, we're getting ready to wind down a semester. Hey, don't give up now. Just keep plugging along. Some of you might be thinking about, oh man, maybe I should just drop these things and just forget about this and do an easier degree. Please know that it's worth the effort. Stick it out. Stay in there and just, you know, keep using it. Use it as you study the scriptures. Use it as you prepare for ministry. 
and you will not regret your time in studying the biblical languages and seeing God's Word in high definition. Again, I want to thank you. It's been a, a great uh, 2024 so far, and I hope that we'll be able to enjoy some more episodes here on this program. And stay tuned in April, Dr. Benjamin and Dr. Jennifer Noonan. And I hope you'll come back and join us for Season 2 starting next week. Let's keep moving forward, studying the biblical languages.